In this tip of the week, we will look at how to join and participate in conferences in My Classes Canvas. The conferences software operates using Big Blue Button, which runs on HTML5 and recommends primarily Chrome or Firefox so that all functions run properly. You may also use Safari if you're on a Mac. Internet Explorer is not supported by Big Blue Button. Therefore, you will want to log into My Classes using one of the recommended browsers when you plan on participating in conferences in a course. Once you are in your course, click on the Conferences tab from the course menu. You will see all course conferences that you have been invited to participate in listed here. For conferences that have not been started or are in progress, they will be listed under New Conferences. If conferences have taken place and been ended, you will find them under Concluded Conferences. If you do not see any buttons next to the conference, then the presenter has not made the conference active for participants to join. Once your instructor starts a conference, you will see a Join button appear next to the conference name and description, and you will see an in-progress indicator. When you click Join, a new tab will open in Big Blue Button, the conferencing software that's integrated within My Classes. You will be prompted to select how you would like to join audio. If you select to join using a microphone, you may be prompted to grant access to your microphone and test your audio, depending on what browser you're using. If you select Listen Only, then your microphone will not be enabled, and you will not be able to speak during the conference. If you click Leave Audio once you are in the room, you will not be able to hear or speak in the conference. You can join audio again to turn on your microphone. You can also join audio by phone. This will give you a number to call and a conference pin to enter. To mute your microphone, click the Mute Unmute button. You can then select to share your webcam so that you are visible to your instructor and classmates. Again, you may be prompted to grant access to your webcam depending on your browser. The microphone and webcam permissions may prompt differently depending on which browser you're using. The Users panel displays those who have joined the conference, and if the chat feature is enabled, a chat window will display all messages received since you last joined the conference. You can show and hide any of these panels by clicking the user icon, or you can resize the window to personalize your viewing experience. User roles are indicated by different shaped icons. The default moderator of the conference will have a square icon, while viewers will have a circle icon. The default role for any users who join an active conference is Viewer. Users with a microphone connected will have a microphone icon, those in listen-only mode will have a headphone icon, and those without any audio will have what looks like a bite taken out of where a microphone or headphone icon would be. The current presenter is indicated by the screen icon on the top left of the user shape. When someone is speaking, the icon will also vibrate. Each user listed in the panel has a settings menu that can expand by clicking their name. Each user can set or clear their own status and mute or unmute themselves. If the private chat feature is enabled, you can also start a private chat with any other user when you click their name. If the private chat is disabled, you will only be able to start a private chat with a conference moderator, but not other viewers. The moderator of the conference has the option to lock out other features, such as your microphone, your camera, and editing of the shared notes. You will see a lock appear next to your name if you have been locked out of one or more of these settings, but it does not specify which settings. However, if you are locked out, the locked features, such as entering text in the public chat or shared notes, will be disabled. Shared notes is an area where all users can contribute in real time. During the conference, users can export these notes in different file formats. If the shared notes is locked for viewers, then only the moderator can add to it. The chat area contains the default welcome message for the conference and contains all public and private chat messages throughout the conference. If the conference is recording enabled, the default message will let you know that the conference may be recorded, and real-time messages will pop up to let you know when the recording has started and stopped. The presenter or moderator of the conference can choose to make anyone a presenter during the conference. If you are made a presenter, you will see the presenter icon appear on top of your user icon. As a presenter, you can upload and share a presentation by clicking the action icon from within the presentation window. Click Upload a Presentation and drag one or more files or browse to select the file or files that you will present during the conference. You can choose to allow participants to download a file by clicking Allow Presentations to be Downloaded. If you upload multiple files, you can choose which file is viewable in the presentation panel by clicking the Show checkbox. You can delete a file by clicking the Remove Presentation button, but you cannot delete the default PDF. File uploads are recommended to be PDF files. However, BigBlueButton converts Word documents or PowerPoint presentations into a PDF file. If your presentation has animations, they will not be converted. When you are done choosing your settings and selecting which file you want to present, press Upload. You can annotate the presentation space by adding lines, shapes, typing text, and using the pencil tool to write or draw freehand. You can choose the color of your annotation ink, adjust line thickness, and undo or clear all annotations. 
You can also share your screen while you are presenting, but only if you are using a desktop, laptop, or Chromebook. You can start a poll or share a YouTube video in real time. For more information about the tools that you can use when you are a presenter, watch the conference interface tip of the week. If you are done with the conference, you can click log out or just close the big blue button window. You can rejoin the session by clicking the join button. Once your instructor or the presenter ends a conference, it will move under concluded conferences. This conference will not be available to reopen. If the conference was recorded after the recording has finished processing, you will see an arrow next to the conference title. Click on it to expand the recording list and press the video link to watch the recording in a new tab. If a concluded conference disappears off of this list, then it has been deleted by the instructor or presenter. As a student, if you see the Add Conference button, you can create a conference on the conferences page. You can also go to any groups that you are in and create a conference in your group space. If you would like more information about setting up conferences, watch the Setting Up and Managing Conferences tip of the week. While this tip is aimed at faculty, the creation and management of a conference is true for all Canvas users. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guides.